Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. Today, I want to talk about Oblivion and how it keeps on giving me things that I've never seen before. So I live streamed the Oblivion Cat series and what I noticed playing Oblivion Cat is that I did my efficient leveling, which I usually do for a new character. I usually make sure that they get a bunch of endurance points in the beginning of the game. That's really it for efficient leveling. Then. Sometimes I care about, you know, if they get their strength maxed up or whatever, but most of the time, I don't care. And what I noticed is Oblivion Cat was a stealth build, and I had never delved super deep into a stealth build, okay? By the end of the game, which I did by the end of the game do this to Oblivion Cat as well, but by the end of the game, I would be some sort of, like, battle mage or just BA sword fighter, right? And Oblivion Cat, for the most part, was a stealth build up until the very end of its life, in which it was just walk around, kill everything, because I had kind of efficiently leveled it and made it OP. So, um, with Oblivion Cat, one of the things that I noticed was that uh, playing the stealth build, I started to understand stealth builds even more than I already understood them, right? Because I never really mainly played Oblivion Cat as a stealth build, right? I never really, well, I mainly played him as a stealth build, but I never played builds before him as a stealth build. You know, I'd occasionally have a character with a high level of sneak, so they'd, you know, get a couple sneak attacks off people, but I wouldn't, like, really try to nail the sneaking. Like, I wouldn't look in a room and be like, okay, I can sneak attack this guy and not get caught. Sneak attack this guy and not get caught. With Oblivion Cat, I did that. Up until the very end, of course. And Oblivion, the game, just keeps giving me things that I've never seen before. Because with Oblivion Cat, you know, I did a lot with him. I did some Dark Brotherhood quests. I got kicked out of the Mage's Guild, didn't do the Fighter's Guild. I did a bunch of, I completed the Thieves' Guild. You know, and I just ran around and did a whole bunch of stuff with Oblivion Cat. And at the end, I had all these, all these like locations discovered around the map. And I explored parts of the map that I never explored before. Like there's that section in between Breville and Shaden Hall on the right side of the map, kind of closer to Breville, that I never, that spot I'd never really seriously explored before. And it was really cool going through those areas, especially as a high level where you're already fighting enemies that if you made a new character, you wouldn't see, right? And just kind of exploring. Like, um, uh, the best example of this I can think of was I found this cluster of caves on this, like, really deep, you know, went to a valley into a river. Right? It was kind of swampy, too. And they had uh, roads up from the river to the caves. And I'm like, holy cow. I found... I called it like a necromancer hangout, where I found this cluster of caves next to also an alien ruin which had a necromancer, one of those altars to make black soul gems. I'm like, I found a place where the necromancers hang out. And it was really cool that you just find this cluster of things and you can tell that, you know, that all of the necromancers, if this game was made nowadays, there would be a whole freaking necromancer cult going on over here. You know, you'd, there'd be dead bodies everywhere and probably be able to join the necromancers literally from this spot, you know? So it was really, really cool. It's this game that just, the more you play it, even though it, it does get boring, I still think that Oblivion, you know, it just keeps giving me stuff to do, man. All these builds, all these ways to play, I can manipulate things. I played as a vampire, again, for the second time I've ever owned Oblivion, I played as a serious vampire, learned some stuff about being a vampire, you know? So it's really, really cool. And that's really it, man. I love this game. By the way, this is on vanilla Oblivion. And this is not with any DLCs. Like, I still have to beat the Shivering Isles. I've not completed the Shivering Isles. All those other little extra DLC quests that give you houses, I haven't completed those yet. And I need to basically complete those quests still. But, you know, I'm lazy and don't record things. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. When you play Oblivion, are you still at a point where you've put, like, hundreds of hours into Oblivion and you still find things to do all the time? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it. You can subscribe for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.